taking a look to see what we have going on this morning. And look what we have. We've got Pipping. Hey everyone, as you can see from that initial cut, we have babies. The first pairing of the year, the first clutch of the year, is finally hatching out. So let's see what we've got. I'm Jack. This is Python Addiction. Hey everyone, so we are going to cut the first clutch of the year, uh, or the season, however you want to look at it. Uh, today is the 27th of April when I'm doing this particular cutting. Um, this was the pairing between my lesser Hepide male and my... Uh, Isis girl, uh, she's the female uh, emperor pin, 100% uh, hat pied. So, got originally 13 eggs from her with two being slugs. So, had 11 out of that particular clutch that were viable when I candled them. Um, I have the video for that. You can look that up if you want to watch that first. Um, I had two eggs go bad almost immediately. And in one of these two, I have one more that I definitely know is bad just from peeking in. So have a total of eight out of that 11 that originally went into the incubator. So it's one of those, some eggs just don't make it. But let's take a look and see what we got. Got a beautiful baby right there that's already out of the egg. Looks like that one came right out of that egg. And I will be moving these eggs to another bin uh, so they can all just be in one area since all of these good ones. So it looks like I've got some cutting. Oh, they already did some peeking. Oh, it looks like we got a bell here. So let's go ahead. I use blunt scissors to do the cuttings. Since... They've already given us an opening. We're just going to kind of use that to peek in a little bit more. And yep, looks like we got either a bell or a pied. Looks like a bell. I'll come down here just a little bit. Yep, that's a bell. So that can just get moved off to the side. Maybe you, baby. Hi. We'll move you over here. So I'm going to start with these eggs here. And I generally don't cut until I start seeing exactly this. The, the egg tooth cutting. The other bin has a few that have already cut. That's what prompted me to start the cutting today for these. So I like to pinch it a little bit, give myself a little bit of a area to cut, and then I do a very, very, very tiny little sliver. this way a little bit and we'll go 
this way. Got movement in there, definitely. So that one's good. So we'll just leave that where that is. Looks like that could be a lesser. Hard to tell right now. We could get pinstripes. We could get pied. We could get lessers. We could get mixtures of all of those. We can get the bells. So there's a lot of things that we can potentially get here. So I'm going to separate these two. Again, same concept here with the pinching. Get myself a starting cut. We'll go down the side a little bit here. Hi, baby. Hi. I see that side just a little bit more. Oh, well, looks like we might have a pied here. Nice white sides. Right there, this little head stamp. Hi, baby. And the third one here. Now these are all day 55 in the incubator. I've been incubating. Oh. Ooh, look at that one. It looks like a lesser pastel. Hi, can you live in there? Yeah, you are. Good. So they all look alive without any problems here. So like I said, I will move these. I have just another bin that's already set up. This is so they don't get caught into the stuff that I use to keep everything up. This is just dampened paper towel. It's not going to hurt these eggs now that they're fully developed and they just need to kind of come out on their own. So we'll move these four. Don't need to worry about that one since they've already come out. Move that off to the side for a minute. And when I dampen it, I will go through and I put the thing into the, uh, the tub, into the incubator for a little while. I have two incubators, one that's currently empty. So I'll put it in there so the water that I use to dampen the cloths warms up to the incubator temperature so it's not a complete shock using cooler water so now 
those five are all set. And here's the others. So we can move those off to the side. And like you, like I said, had the other one that I definitely knew was bad. Um, little stinky, stinky. I'm gonna kind of peel that one away. I'm not worried about things now with this one. Because that one did actually break through on its own. So even though it's a little discolored, it's one of those, give it a try. You'd be surprised when it comes to nature at how resilient it is, even when it comes to some of these issues. But this one started going bad, I want to say around day 30. And I kind of doused it with some uh, foot powder because there was some of the mold and bacteria starting to grow on it. But I couldn't separate it at that point in time from this egg. So I kind of did what I could. That's why you see some of this stuff here. That's the uh, foot powder. So let's go ahead... this a little bit I already saw you poking your head out and it looks like a nice pot lesser pin possibly cut it a little bit more like I said, I'll move these over to the other container as well. So this one peeking out earlier. Oh, my cutting job is almost completely done here. They cut all the way down here. Look at that pattern. What do we got here? I see your head. I see your head. That's definitely the pinstripe there. That's probably an emperor, the pinstripe lesser, and a pastel in there. And then last, we'll go around this one. Faint sides. This looks like another just lesser pin, possibly. But definitely moving around. So. It's one of those, you win some, you lose some. I'm not even going to bother with this one. It's too desiccated and bad. I know that there's nothing live in there. Um, it smells a little on the bad side as well so I definitely would not open that up not sure exactly what caused it there's many many different things that can be the cause um, 
I use distilled water when I mix everything up, but just air contamination can create bacterial growth. So it's something that it's a nature's game when it comes to that aspect of things. But these guys will all go back right into the incubator. I'll let them come out of their eggs completely and keep them in there for a couple of days. There'll be this, this one has holes in it as well. And then we'll just take care of disposing of that. Um, and then I've got several other girls that should be laying in the next few days. So we'll have to wait and see what comes next. If you have any suggestions for future videos, uh, please don't hesitate to drop something in the comments. Um, also, like this video. If you like this, do subscribe and hit the notifications. That'll let you know when I put up new videos. I try to put up a new video at least once a week, sometimes more depending on time. So until next time, I'm Jack. This is Python Addiction.